Hi Virgo, I'm Pam and welcome to your Psychic Tarot reading for April 2016. This month I laid out the five card rainbow tarot spread for you using the Hanson Roberts tarot deck. And remember, these are general readings, so to get a reading with details pertaining specifically for you, you would need a private reading. This video is a reading for Virgo Sun, Virgo Ascendant, and Virgo Moon. Please be sure to watch your rising sign and your moon sign to gain more insight and information because some months they will resonate more for you than your sun sign will. If you would like to get a continuation of this reading where I look into the crystal for you and get messages from my spirit guides Virgo, please click on the link below in the show more section that will take you to my Vimeo videos on demand page for April 2016's crystal reading for each sign of the zodiac for download and purchase. You can also access these videos by going to my website www theluckymermaid.com and clicking on the videos tab on my menu and go to page five and there you will see the links for each of the sign for April 2016 crystal reading. You just click on your sign and it will take you to Vimeo. If you have any issues with any of the videos you've purchased with me that need troubleshooting, please be sure to contact support at vimeo.com by email. Uh, they have all the access to your personal information and purchases and can troubleshoot any issues you may have. I do not have access to your personal accounts and information, so therefore I cannot troubleshoot any issues. But if you write to them, they will be of help to you. So thank you so much for that. Now on to your reading, Virgo. The first card you have that shows up here today in your reading, you have Seven of Pentacles. And the Seven of Pentacles is a card to me that symbolizes being tired and exhausted of your hard work and efforts. It could also indicate financial gains and financial rewards coming to you from your hard work and efforts. I feel some of you are making a move. I feel like you're going to be making a move or a job change. And uh, when I say move, I feel like the move does have job, is, is a job change. But you could be moving because of a job. I feel like your job where you are now, you feel like nobody's listening to you. Or really acknowledging you fully or not really paying attention to your opinions on how things should be done or procedures or what you are saying. And I feel that you're irritated by this and kind of fed up with it. So I feel some of you, not all, some of you Virgos will be like, you know what, I've got to get a new job or I have to go somewhere where I'm more recognized and appreciated. So I feel it's something of your own doing. I don't feel your leaving is anything to do with getting fired. I feel this is something you're choosing to do. I do feel there's also some situations that could arise of some kind of fallout at work if you're working for someone else that will cause you to leave. Some of you it will be that. But again, I'm not sure that it's a fight with you and the employer uh, or your boss. It could be something that goes down that you just don't like there and then it's like, wow, I don't want to keep working here. I don't want to work for somebody that would say that or do that. Like it may not be between you and the owner or the, you know, boss or whoever it is. It could be you're witnessing it. But either way, I feel like what no matter what the reason is, I feel there's quite a few of you Virgos that are going to think about leaving the place where you've been working. For you non-working Virgos, I do feel that you're going to start to realize and witness stumbling blocks that have been created by not by by other family members. Um, 
I just get you seeing, or oh, and and non-family members in some cases that maybe are friends of your kids or friends of your siblings or you know just uh, other people. I just see you seeing stumbling blocks created by other people that are affecting events and things that are going on with you or your family. Those are for you non-working Virgos. I feel that some of you are going to be releasing some funds or money to a family member that may have gotten a DUI and you uh, they or they needed to get bailed out of jail or they you know got a big ticket they have to pay uh, because I keep feeling like an automobile is involved I feel like it's either a driving violation an accident a DUI something that I feel some of you Virgos are going to be shelling out some money to cover or to help for someone else that's close to you for any of you that are single looking for love i feel very likely new love could come to you in august so just think about that i don't feel it's on top of you in april right now that's not how it's coming up to me although you may be it, it could be sooner than august but august is coming up here through this uh seven of pentacles I feel some of you Virgos are going to be looking into financing something this month. So to me, either you want to get a loan for a car, a loan for a house, a loan for something you want to purchase, maybe a small business loan. Uh, I, I just get looking to uh, looking into financing something comes up around you for April Virgo. So the next card in your reading here today is the three of rods which indicates success it's a card to me that would symbolize letting something go so success can come to you or just waiting patiently for success and very often it's success in business or enterprise uh, because it is the card of rods I feel that you're going to be in talks or, or negotiating with somebody. I don't know what you're negotiating with them about, but I do get the words negotiations. Don't be fooled by anybody you're doing any business deals or communications with or talking to that may be presenting themselves. They may actually be a wolf in sheep's clothing. One of my guides is using that phrase. I, they are a wolf in sheep's clothing. So be forewarned of that. There's somebody you're talking to or dealing with that is shady or dishonest or not telling you the whole picture um, or they're presenting themselves as a sheep and really they're a wolf. You know what I mean? That's coming up here through this card. Some of you may be writing your wills. You may have started to do that. You may have started it in February and March. I see some of you Virgos, they're using the word, you're not the first sign to get this word, dismantling things. But in your case, I feel like you're dismantling your financial picture and your properties and what you have of value and worth in like a will kind of sense. Like, okay, I'm going to give this one to Johnny and this one to Paul and that one to Sarah and this is going to go to, you know, Beth. I mean, like that kind of thing. I feel like you're going to figure you're going to be dividing up where things go, who has responsibilities, who's got the power of attorney, who's the executor of the will, where is my stuff going to go, uh, here's the, secure, here's the uh, security codes, here's my key to my safety deposit box, like all that kind of stuff. I see some of you Virgos working uh, a lot on that and I feel you already started to do it. I don't feel you're just doing it now in April. I feel many of you actually started this process back in February, have been doing it in March and that it's still going forward and happening, maybe being done with it and finishing it in April. I feel that you're going to be hanging out with somebody that has like a dry kind of caustic wit, maybe sarcastic. And I feel that the two of you are going to go someplace together like 
uh, to see a concert or a comedy show or something funny or unique or of something of interest and I feel this is somebody you're going to enjoy spending time with they have a great sense of humor I feel they could be a, either a very long time friend of yours or a relative comes up uh, it's just like there's a strong connection there and I feel like you're going to have fun that's a, like an activity or something I see coming up and if you don't experience that in the month of April I feel it could happen in May I see some of you Virgos actually working on studying and learning alchemy divination uh, you could be delving into doing tarot readings professionally or for personal interest uh, I feel some of you may be mixing together concoctions like using different kind of oils or herbs or treatments because I'm getting alchemy so you may be creating like some kind of cosmetic line or some kind of health food regi health regimen for people to buy um, I feel like you're uh, like using alchemy and spiritual practices and bending them towards like good use and either you're going to be using them yourself or not only using them yourself you may be marketing them and selling them also to the public maybe you're going to start your own little business or subcontract the space out of a health food store or out of some you know specialty store where you that you can have a little counter where you're selling your items and things or you may have your own store that you're doing this in but that also comes up here uh, through the three of rods some of you may be retaining a lawyer to straighten out some kind of financial structure or situation it could be hiring a lawyer to, to go over wills it could be a, hiring a lawyer to set up a trust fund or a trust and a will a living trust a will and all of that I do feel that the reason you're hiring the lawyer is to straighten something out uh, or build structures and in regard to finances so wills could come into that so hopefully that'll make sense to some of you Virgos out there crowning your reading today for April 2016 you have the ten of Pentacles and the ten of Pentacles is a card that would symbolize to me receiving an inheritance this could also be getting money through family channels or it could, like gift of cash coming to you from someone it could also be in a couple with someone you're in a union and through the two of you together as a couple as a family your two incomes bring in like financial abundance it could also mean that I hear study hard earn more your pay is increasing so I feel like if you've been thinking about hmm, I'm on the fence should I study this and elevate my career a little bit more by having this degree or certificate or know-how under my belt I feel that you will do that um, you I because I pick up some of you taking classes and whatever the classes are in it's going to in turn end up uh, increasing your talent skills business acumen know-how and and increase your finances I feel if you're anybody that is like even has a ranch like cattle ranch how about that for a prediction only you Virgo <laughs> I think I've gotten farms for Virgos before now I'm getting a ranch um, let's just put it this way I'm going to use the ranch as an example because that's what it came up first as if you own some kind of ranch cattle ranch or property of any kind like a farm or just like some rambling you know landscape um, I don't know I feel like if you have something you're going to be expanding it you could be buying more land somehow I feel like you're going to be expanding on what you have that's going to be different for all of you some of you that means you're going to be purchasing more property to expand it some of you may be just expanding what you're doing already on the property maybe you do a B and C but now you're going to add you know E F and G to it that weren't there before so like and it could be a trade or a service but I do get expanding and expanding uh, you know especially if you have land I feel that's going to happen for some of you if you're already in a couple with somebody with a significant other 
I feel you're going to be expanding on what you do together for interests. Like maybe you're going to take a skydiving class together or you're going to learn how to make wine and, and go around to, you know, vineyards, buy grapes and start making your own wine or learn how to do uh, real estate or financial investing for people. But to do it together as a team, I pick that up for some of you Virgos working together as a team with your spouse spouse or significant other and possibly taking classes and learning things together uh, to you know to enrich your lives with each other becoming more un like having more unity comes up here so the next card you have in this reading today for April 2016 is the chariot and the chariot to me is a card that would symbolize change happening or having to make a decision or a choice between two things it could also indicate travel I'm hearing if there's a new person that comes in and tries to sell you a bill of goods like just know that it's a bill of goods again uh, it's so it's just a very weird feeling like I don't feel you can tro totally trust or believe this person and, and what they're saying they're presenting themselves falsely to you or what they're saying they can do for you or offer you is too pie in the sky unrealistic or just has no ability to be able to materialize and happen so just know that I feel some of you Virgos may actually not feel so good in April you could have problems with your intestines uh, or digestive problems. I picked that up for some of you or like spastic colon, that kind of thing. And I feel like if any of you have that kind of issue, I feel it's because of emotions and nerves, like nerves getting to you. Uh, you know, like sometimes people can have shingles like shingles can come up when you're nervous and I feel some of you may have that like or eczema or some something but I feel like something on your skin could kick up from nerves so just know that's also coming up here through the chariot for April I feel some of you may have some kind of disagreement or quarrel with your partner over selling something where you may not want to sell it but they do and so you could really be at odds with each other about selling something or it could be the reverse you know maybe you want to sell it and they don't want to because it would be something that would be jointly owned by the two of you and I see it as being a dispute that doesn't mean it's going to end the relationship or that it can't be resolved or settled I feel that it can but I just see it being like discussed and debated uh, and not really being agreed on really strongly in the month of April especially towards the end of the month of April which you know we are going into mercury and in retrograde in that time I don't know the exact date of that but it is toward the end of April and I feel you know you got to be careful because there can be miscommunications and things like that going on so uh, it's not a good idea to make any decisions while mercury is in retrograde it's always best to let if you can if you have time to let them pass because you could have a reversal of whatever you decide to do when mercury is in retrograde so if you guys are disputing over selling something and one wants to and the other one doesn't don't decide on it until after you get well into May I wouldn't make that decision until after mercury in retrograde passes I do feel for Virgos in the month of April <clears throat> you getting out and about a lot more socially than maybe you had been for a little while uh, I, I just see you socializing and it doesn't have to be just with friends it could also be socializing with family but I see you out and about and getting out and socializing more and I also see family relations for you in April look like they become a little bit more settled tighter more cohesive more on an even keel and a level plane and now some of you Virgos don't have any issues with family but those of you that do and I know quite a few of you do I see things becoming more 
feeling calm, solid, solidified. So that's another sense of what's going on for you in April. I feel one of the decisions you may be faced with in making in April is whether to become partners with somebody or not. Now this could be business partners or love relationship partners or partnering up in anything that you could become a partner in, uh, you know, a group activity and you, you have to partner up. I just get uh, having to make a decision about becoming partners with somebody is something that's going to come up for some of you Virgos in April. Now the last card you have that shows up here today is the Three of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles is a card that would symbolize to me uh, it's like learning it's uh, expanding your skills expanding what you you know how to do it could be expanding your job parameters you could have more job duties bestowed upon you than what you already were doing it could be uh, mastering your craft or mastering your skill you could be really honing in on really perfecting whatever it is you do for a craft or a skill or a job or a business. It could also be expansion of if you own your own business and say you have one store here but you want to open up a sister store or you have a website and now you want to open up a brick and mortar store both. It's that kind of thing can happen with uh, when the uh, Three of Pentacles shows up. I feel like your determination your will and determination are going to be quite high in the month of April. I see you having this wow factor. I feel like you're going to be turning, looking all around and you're going to be like, everybody's reinventing themselves all around you. I feel like you're going to be like, oh my gosh, she looks totally different. And they changed their life and that one dumped that one and now is with this one. And uh, like, I see you kind of amazed, like sitting in the middle of, look at all these changes that have occurred around you. I feel like you're, uh, Virgo, you're going to be witnessing a lot of changes in interpersonal relationships and family dynamics uh, and people in your family leaving and coming in new to your family, all going on around you in April. I feel it's going to be a bit of a surprise. And for some of you, you may actually, if you're a working Virgo, be seeing that kind of thing happen in the workplace. If that doesn't make sense for you for home, if you're like, what is she talking about? All these cats are doing the same thing they always do. Well, look around at your job. Is your job place and place of business getting re reinvented, reorganized, restructured, renovated, maybe actually physically renovated, or uh, job, uh, different people are changing positions, like this one's got that one's job, that one moved to this department, this one over there is over there, somebody new came in here. I feel regardless of where you are, whether this is home or whether this is family or work, you're going to be witnessing like and, and it's I'm not saying nothing's happening with you because I do think things are happening with you too but I feel like you're like wow kind of like amazed and and by the time you get to the beginning of June by your at the time you're at June 1st you're going to look back at like from March the end of March through the end of June like wow look at all the stuff that just happened in that time frame I do feel some of you are going to be getting training or education or educating or getting some type of training or classes. Those words are all circling around this Three of Pentacles card for you, Virgo, for April. I feel some of you are doing it because you want to have a superior, a, a superior quality of workmanship and craftsmanship in what you're doing. So this could be Hey, don't think it's not uh, there. That can apply to things like legal work, the medical field, uh, any line, you know, any line of work that you could be in. It doesn't just have to be a creative field like playing music, doing sculpture and art, uh, you know, woodworking and carpentry. Uh, being a chef, all those would greatly apply to that statement. But even other jobs that you may think that doesn't, so that may not apply. I'm just telling you, I do feel that many of you are getting some kind of elevated education classes or training to help you master your craft and your skill and things that you are doing. And I see it showing up here 
in April. So uh, I hope this reading made sense to you, and I certainly hope it was of help, Virgo. I want to thank you so much for watching, sharing, and liking my videos. Thank you for subscribing and for Google Plusing. I do truly appreciate that. Please be sure to subscribe. That way when I post my monthly Psychic Tarot readings and my mid-month Psychic Tarot updates and any other surprise videos I may decide to post on YouTube, you will get notified. I'd also like to ask you to please follow me on Twitter and at The Lucky Mermaid LLC on Facebook because I do post things there daily. You won't be able to see here on YouTube. I draw cards. I pull, per, you know, cards for predictions. I make predictions. I put up quotes about uh, coming from spiritual teachers. Sometimes I post things about astrological influences going on and occasionally there's videos so please be sure to check me out over there and please also click like on my Facebook page I do appreciate that thank you so much and if you would like to get a continuation of this reading Virgo where I'm going to look into the crystal for you and get messages from my spirit guides for you for April 2016 please click on the link below in the show more section below this video and it will take you to my Vimeo videos on-demand page for April 2016 crystal readings for each sign of the zodiac for download and purchase. You can also access these videos by going to my website www.theluckymermaid.com. Go to the videos tab on my menu and click on page 5 and there you will see the link uh, all the links for each sign of the zodiacs for the April 2016 crystal readings. You just click on your sign and it will take you to that Vimeo video. I'd also like to remind you if you need any troubleshooting on any video that you purchase from me on Vimeo, please be sure to contact them directly through email at support at Vimeo.com. Uh, they can troubleshoot any uh, issues you may be having. I do not have access to your personal information and accounts or your purchases. So therefore, I am unable to troubleshoot any issues you may have. So if you email them, they will work things out for you. So thank you for that. And a big thank you because your support and purchasing these videos is actually enabling me to continue to post and do these free readings here on YouTube. So I do greatly appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you so much for that. I hope you have an absolutely wonderful month of April, Virgo, and know that I wish you many blessings and peace.